Hey everybody, Crescent Dragon Wagon on Sunday night. Hawa is due back at any minute after her weekend off, but I wanted to give you the update right now. We are now at a grand total of $3,658. We are not very far from our $4,500 that is our goal. Interestingly enough, we just got a contribution from Charles Price, a second contribution. He had sent us, I think, $25 the first time and said that that was the most important $25 he thought that he'd ever sent into the, into the universe. And this time he sent another 15 bucks about four hours ago. And he says, okay, balance of goal is $8.57. If all 64 supporters gave an additional $13.40, this will be complete. Here's an additional $15. My gut says this is very important. Charles is a food writer. When his gut speaks, you can listen. It's pretty interesting. When you look at the numbers of people who have given, we've had five guys give, and two families, and the rest of our 65 generous donors have been women. In a way, it makes sense. How as a woman, she's suffered in some of the ways that women suffer uniquely. But She's also a human being, which is what all of us are. So, guys, hold the escutcheon of your gender high and throw in some bucks. We don't have that many more to go. So, Charles Price, along with Katie Duncan, they're two people who gave small amounts twice. And I think that is extremely cool because, you know, on the one hand, Howa will be giving her efforts to learning to read day after day for this year to learn it. It will be giving to her for her entire life and the life of her family. And in a larger sense, if she goes on to write, but even if she just goes on to help other people like she's doing now or if she starts a business, it will go on giving and expanding out from her life into other lives. So... Very cool that Katie and Charles were able to give twice. Constanza Zordon, who lives in our neighborhood, gave $25 yesterday. It's also very cool to how I made three people on this block have given money. And that just, you know, makes you feel at home where you are in the world. Leslie Tenney, $18. Thank you, Leslie. She says, I'm happy to help Howa on this inspiring journey. My friend Linda Aaron, uh, who lives in Springfield, Missouri, says, Curtis and I are happy to contribute to Howe's education and reading. She seems such a sweetie, very deserving. We take reading and writing for granted, not even realizing that others don't have that basic skill. Go, Howe, go. We are very proud of you and know you will achieve your goal of reading and will continue to be a learner. See, that's the thing, is once you have reading, your learning never stops. At least it has the potential to never stop. You can check, you can Google something if you don't understand it. How I can't Google? You know, you can go to the library, you can go, it's the world opens up to you. $20 from Catherine Nobles, a friend of mine through Facebook, who has said, reading is my comfort, refuge, passion. I see my hunger for the written word reflected in Howa's desire to learn to read. Coming into your house, she must have felt like the child outside the bakery, nose pressed against the window, hungering for a taste. And Catherine continues, how wonderful that she came into a household of readers and writers who can feed that hunger. As a teacher and linguist, I admire all for helping her on the journey. Blessings. Catherine, when I first read that, I got a little teary-eyed myself. So thank you, Catherine. As well as, of course, thank you, Linda and Curdy and Leslie and Constanza and Charles. I think I said thank you to all of you, but in case I didn't. Michelle Latour Murray, who also lives in Missouri, I believe in Springfield, and is a Facebook pal. She knows a sad part of Howa's story that we haven't told, which is Howa's sister was the secretary of the treasury in Guinea and was 
uh, scheduled to be doing some whistleblowing on some major corruption, like millions of dollars, and was assassinated. When we talk about what Howa came from, the world she came from, to end up here in 29 Elm Place, they're not kidding around. I mean, um, how I had to endure the undurableness of this. And, um, you know, which is another reason this, this money matters. It's like good things can happen in a world where unspeakable things happened. So Michelle remembers this. And Michelle wrote, In memory of your beloved sister, I know she is smiling down on you for what you are accomplishing. Whatever beings or life force there is that is for development and progress and people making themselves and the world better than it was when they found it is saying, yeah, good, keep going. And so that's what I'm going to say too. We are almost there. There was an email, um, Facebook post from someone, uh, my friend Rebecca Drew had posted the original appeal and a friend of hers said, this sounds so good, but do you actually know these people? Are they real people? And Rebecca wrote back saying that she knew me, that she'd taken fearless writing with me and that we were real. And I wrote back and I said, yeah, we are really real people. Well, we are really real people. You guys are, I am how I is. This is a really important thing. If one person who has lived through hell can find their way through the gates into reading and have whole other worlds open up to them. Thank you again so much. And even after we reach the goal, we'll send you updates occasionally. Invite you over for dinner. How is a great cook? We'll celebrate together. And we'll celebrate for a while, but even when this campaign isn't on Facebook, know that Howa will be celebrating reading and your generosity for the rest of her life. Thank you.